The Android P developer preview was recently released, um, but only for Nexus and Pixel devices. If you have one of those devices you wanna learn how to get it, you can click the link below, I have a video on that. Um, but since its release, uh, a bunch of crafty developers have actually come up with apps that mimic a lot of the features from Android P that are kind of cool. Now since they are apps, they can easily be installed on any Android phone without needing root access or hacking or any of that fun stuff. Um, and they can also be easily uninstalled because again, they're just apps. So if you want some of Android P's best features without having to wait for it, by the way, I still think it's gonna be called Android Peppermint for the record. In this week's Tip and Trick Tuesday, I'm gonna show you guys how you can do just that using these apps. Okay, first we need to enable the ability to install APK files that aren't directly from the Play Store. Now, to do that on any device that isn't Android Oreo, simply head to Settings, Security, Allow Unknown Sources, and turn it on. Now, if you're using Android Oreo, things have changed slightly. We have to actually give a specific app permission to install APK files and then use that app. But we'll do that when it asks. Now, the biggest thing that you can do to change your experience in your Android device is to change your Android launcher that you have on it. In this case, we're gonna install the Android P Pixel launcher using an APK file. Now you can also just use Nova Launcher or some other custom launcher and then customize it to look like this, I imagine. Uh, more info on how I did that, at least for Android O below, but this is the launcher that would give you the purest Android P experience. So first we're gonna download the Android P launcher from XDA here by opening this link on your phone so it downloads directly to it. Once downloaded on the phone, tap it in the notification shade. And then since we're on Oreo, it's going to ask us to allow an app to install APKs, in this case, Chrome. We're going to select that we will allow it to install APKs and then continue. And then you can tap install. Then we can tap the home button and when asked, tap the Android P launcher and select always to make it your new default launcher. Now one of the cooler features in Android P, in my opinion, is the ability to quickly reply to messages from the notification shade using smart suggested replies, which are similar to what you get in the inbox in Gmail for emails. Now, Google actually released this feature a while ago uh, as a separate app, but is integrated into Android P natively. You can get it though for any Android device by using the Google APK file. First, you just need to click the link below this video on my site to be taken to the APK for smart replies here. And then you can download that to the phone. And once it's downloaded, you can tap on it in the notification shade like we did the other app and then tap install. Now, so long as you're using the various messaging apps that were shown in the app setup process, you'll be able to use smart replies. Now, one of the more subtle changes in Android P that people are excited about is the moving of the volume slider from the top of the device to the side. Now, it might not seem like much, but people on the web are seriously jazzed about it. If you're one of these people, there's a pretty easy way not only to get the side volume slider, but also to customize it thanks to a developer over on XDA. So to get it, we're gonna click the link below to download the Android P volume slider APK, download it to your phone as we did all the other ones. Then once it's downloaded, tap on it in the notification shade to install it uh, and then tap install. And once the app opens, enable the permissions that it needs and then you can use it to customize the slider. Another small change that is pretty welcomed uh, for most is the ability to mark up screenshots immediately after taking them. Something that other manufacturers have had but is missing from stock Android. Now, someone on XDA made a copy of this as an APK file that you just have to share the screenshot to once it's taken, which is an extra step, but whatever. Then it can be edited before we're sharing it to wherever you need it after that. So to get this, we're gonna do the same thing we do with all the other ones. We're gonna click the link below to download the markup APK file by clicking that link uh, and then download it to your phone. Once it's downloaded on the phone, tap in the notification shade and then tap install. And that's it. Now when you take a screenshot, just tap share and share it to markup. Then you can edit it from there and then export it to share it somewhere else. Next, we have lockdown mode. Now this is a feature that I first saw in iOS 11 that I thought was a good idea with all the new biometric security and the scares that someone could force you to look at your device or touch the fingerprint sensor to open it, etc. cetera. Um, on iOS, it's part of the panic mode, but in Android P, it's called lockdown mode and is activated by tapping the power button and then tapping lockdown. Now, since we can't alter that very well without rooting Android, there is an alternative using an app, aptly called Lockdown Mode. We're gonna download the Lockdown Mode APK file from this link below the video, and then obviously save it to your phone. Then we can pull down the notification shade and tap it to uh, install it, then tap Install, 
And once it's installed, you can enable it by opening the app from the app drawer. Again, it's not as convenient, but it's still helpful in a pinch. There you guys, some of the cooler features in Android P, which isn't a big update, you can tell by these features, I think. Um, but I hope that helps some of you guys, uh, or at least gave you some fun things to experiment with over the weekend or the coming week. Let me know though what you guys thought of this video. Uh, if you have any other apps or anything that help mimic Android P's features, leave those in the comments below. I'm sure other people would love to see them and I would love to as well. Um, but if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Otherwise, if you want more videos like this, check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and don't forget to tick the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.